you grow up, you tend to get told that the world is the way it is. Your life is just to live your life inside the world. Try not to bash into the walls too much. Try to have a nice family life, uh, have fun, save a little money. Th that's a very limited life. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. Everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. And you can change it. You can influence it. You can, you can build your own things that other people can use. And however you learn that, once you learn it, you'll never be the same again. When you have a dream, it doesn't often come at you screaming in your face. Dreams always come from behind you, not, not right between your eyes. It sneaks up on you. Sometimes a dream almost whispers, very hard to hear. So you have to, every day of your lives, be ready to hear what whispers in your ear. It very rarely shouts. Make sure that you are focused on something you're passionate about. You can't follow the fashion when you're trying to do a startup company or I think really anything in life. As an entrepreneur, if you're, gonna, if you're gonna build a company, pick something you think is interesting and then just stay right there and let the wave catch you. I think it's important that you really like whatever you're doing. Um, if, if you don't like it, life is too short. If you like what you're doing, you think about it even when you're not working. It, it's, it's something that your mind is drawn to. Um, and, and if you don't like it, you just really can't make it work, I think. I'm convinced that the only thing that kept me going was that I loved what I did. You've got to find what you love. Your work is going to fill a large part of your life, and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking and don't settle. The only thing you really have in your life is time. If you invest that time in yourself to have great experiences that are going to enrich you, then you can't possibly lose. I don't know how you can make any pioneering movements in the world. Whatever it is that you want to do, you're, there's going to be risk in your life. And if I fail, Am I going to regret having tried and failed? And I knew the answer to that was no. But I also knew that if I didn't try, that I would always regret that. I would always wonder and it would haunt me. Now is the time to take risk. As you get older, your obligations increase. And once you have a family, you start taking risk not just for yourself, but for your family as well. It gets much harder to uh, do things that might not work out. So I would, I would encourage you to take risks now, to do something bold. So I always advise people, don't wait. Do something when you're young, when you have nothing to lose, and keep that in mind. And then just work like hell. I mean, you just have to put in, you know, 80 hour, 80 to 100 hour weeks every week. How will you use your gifts? What choices will you make? Will inertia be your guide or will you follow your passions? Will you follow dogma or will you be original? Will you choose a life of ease or a life of service and adventure? Will you wilt under criticism or will you follow your convictions? When it's tough, will you give up or will you be relentless? Will you be a cynic or will you be a builder? In the end, we are our choices. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. Thank you for coming. We're gonna make some history together today.